Hey guys, so welcome back to Forza Horizon. So today we're going to start out with this race called Horizon Megatune. Um, I know I haven't been doing a ton of these episodes lately, but you know, um, they haven't been doing as well as I hope. But I think I do want to finish this series regardless. Alright, so here we are, first race of the day. We'll see how this goes. And I know I do a lot of races, but what else is there really to do in this series? Um, I kind of want to do... I was thinking about... I really want to do something else in this series, too, other than just continually doing races. But what do I do? What else do I do? Like, other than, like, exploring the map. If you guys have any ideas, then let me know. Because I can't really think of anything at the moment, but... I don't know if it's boring for you guys to just continually just watching races, basically, because that's pretty much all I do in this series, mostly. But it's how I have to do it to beat the game. So, and we need to we need to slow down sooner here. Cause we're messing it up. Man, I really wish you could get those like the past like those challenges and get credits from those in like the newer games, even in, like Horizon Five. It'd be awesome. But. Of course, they got rid of that. That's not even a Horizon 2, so. The sponsorship thing. Huh. Why am I drifting like that? That's bothering me a lot. That's like, I'm not doing that. It's just, the car is just doing that. And I'm getting really annoyed by it because it's slowing me down. Um, if that keeps up, I'm probably going to quit. What I'm going to do is probably just quit the race. Because it's, I think it's messing me up. I don't know why it's doing this, but it's slowing me down. Okay, um, I'm going to quit the race, and then we're going to change the car. Alright, here we go again. We're going to start this off with the, uh, we're going to try the Civic this time. If all else fails, we can do another race, but I think this thing handles better. I can't remember, because it's actually been a while since I recorded an episode, like more than a week, so. Time passes really fast, I get I like, I'm, I, I notice it, I'm like, wow, it's been a long time, and you just lose, <laughs> just like, oh man, I've, I've, I've used up so much time and I didn't even realize, I really wanted to use that Datsun, but the problem is, I think it's just drifting all over the place, I might downgrade it, because maybe it's just not a good car to have an A-Class, maybe that's just too much power for it or something, I mean, I'm not the best tuner, I kind of just throw parts on vehicles, and my, so my original episodes, as you guys saw, if you've been watching since then, which is possible, then you can see that I did show the upgrades. I stopped showing it to, to a copyright claim in one of the videos because it was playing music. thing is, I have the music on in-game. Um, so... We need to stop doing that, but yeah, we do have the music off in game, but then it still plays it when you're upgrading cars and painting and stuff. So, plays it in the background. I'm, I was surprised that it caught it because it's like in the background, it's just like some background noise. It really isn't that loud, but it still caught it. So, I was like, no, we're not going to do that anymore. Unfortunately, as much as I want to show the upgrades of me upgrading cars, I just, I just won't because I don't want to get copyright claims on my channel. That's something I would like to show in the videos. I have shown me getting barn fights, but it usually isn't for very long. That you, they only take, it only takes a few seconds. So, it, I haven't got a uh, copyright claim from that. But it's just the length of upgrading. I think that, that it's able to get the music from that. And, and this is before streamer mode was added. I think the first time streamer mode was in. I'm almost positive it was in Horizon 4. I don't even think it was in 3, so... Yeah, we're doing a heck of a lot better this time. We didn't slow down very hard. I actually thought I was going to make it. Sometimes, I remember doing this in older games, like if a driver is next to you, you can go fast, but then use the driver um, as to make it so you don't hit a wall, and then you just get a really good pass on them because of it. I suck at driving on this game. I'm, I notice I'm a lot worse on If you guys have raced against one of my rivals, or if you... Or if I make like a Ride and Fight video, which I have been doing, you can see the difference in my racing. It's just weird. I don't know what it is. This game is running on a, is the, an older engine, obviously. They changed the engine in Horizon 2. I just feel like 
for Ryzen 2 is like the same engine, you know, even up to Ryzen 5, because the graphics are fairly similar. It might be a slightly upgraded engine, but it's because of the ray tracing, but that's really the only difference. It looks, the graphics look the same, pretty much, even today. This Ryzen 1 and 2 were definitely the biggest jump. No, I do not want to use the Civic. So I'm looking through here, and there's a Volkswagen race. I kind of I know we have the Corrado, but I want to buy a new one. So um, let's. I kind of want to buy this car. All right. So here we are. We're almost there. Um, I, th I think the reason why I bought this car um, is because it's quite a bit newer than the Corrado. So I thought it might be a bit better. So funny enough, um, when I went to go do this race, I saw that it was B class. For some reason, I forgot that it was, I thought it was A class for some reason. I, I forgot it was B. And then I upgraded this car to A, to a class. And then I was like, wait a minute, this was a B class race. So I had to downgrade back to B class and it was a pain. So anyway, now that we're here, we can actually do this. We could have just used the Corrado and avoided all that, but I wanted a new car for some reason. So, and I wanted a, one that could be used for this, so. Okay, so that dirt racing in the beginning might slow me down a little bit. Uh, watch out. Be careful there. I think that Corrado right there is kind of in my way. Yeah, for sure. Might as well talk about this. So, last night, uh, I get to get something to talk about. My, I had this stream where for some reason I had to go to India. And we couldn't get plane tickets to go back home. Um, I couldn't get plane tickets to go back home, so we ha I had to get a job there for some reason. I don't actually know what kind of job I got. We had to live there. There was this girl. I was, I think it was like a girlfriend or something. But we were there, and we went to this gas station, and Tim McGraw was singing there. <laughs> and... Um, I accidentally spilled a drink on his, on his outfit. I spilled a drink on him by accident. Like I apologize and whatever. Oh, where is that dream? I had another dream after that. I totally forgot. I just thought that would be something funny to mention. Might as well, we're recording video. A lot of times I have a hard time thinking about what to say. So it's good to talk about something. I thought it'd be funny to, to tell you guys because it's funny. Anyways, that dream was weird. I was woke up and I was like, what the heck? India? Where where did this come from? I wasn't thinking about any of this stuff. That's how I feel like a lot of time with dreams. You just don't know what what where it came from or whatever. Um, we need to catch up though. I do feel like I kind of suck at this game. But um, I mean I'm like I can drive on this game. I'm not the worst but like on, I don't know. I'm not like Asphalt 9, I would wish I could be better. So I've kind of considered quitting that game. That's one of the reasons because I never improve and it's like, it's hard to keep playing if my skill never improves. Oh my goodness gracious. This is so annoying. Yeah, this car doesn't seem to have the best handling either, and it's got a lot of dirt racing on it, which is, uh, I think that's also contributing to my slowdown here. It's not like we can do rally racing, and it's a bit of a problem because we don't have the expansion, and the expansion is now impossible to get. That is so annoying. Come on. We're catching up. We just need to be careful about messing up or anything like that. That was really, really rough. That turn there. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a definitely a dirt race. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't think it's specified that it was either. It's really hard to tell what isn't or what is. Unless you're able to look at the roads. But on this game, all the roads are just white, I think. I might be... I think that's right. Um, okay, let's let's go double check this. Cause why not? No, there's dirt roads here, but for some reason, as we're driving here, we can't actually see 
This is all white, even though there's actually quite a bit of dirt racing, dirt roads. So I don't actually understand that. Like on Horizon 5, even from Horizon 2 on, any dirt roads like this would be orange. So that's weird. I have no clue. <laughs> I, I do have been doing wanting to do more episodes of this frequently. I might record another one as soon as I finish this. I don't know. I did do a new video. I do want to do some like new content that I never do. We need to try catching up here. Okay. Ultimate pass challenge. We that was kind of a rough pass. But we got ourselves into second place just now, so even if we get second here, screw it. I mean, there's still a whole nother lap up to this, so we've got a lot of time. This race is hard. It's got a lot of, like, sharp turns and dirt racing. This race is not easy. This race is tough. I don't know. The thing I noticed about this game is there is a lot of dirt racing, but the game won't tell you that it's dirt racing. You won't even know. So it can be a kind of annoying. You can't, like, put off-road tires on because the rally expansion is required, so... Which is not possible to purchase. I wish. I don't know. I, there's, there's an addition to this game. I think I mentioned in a previous episode. But it's not like an old. It's not called the Ultimate Edition or anything like that. But I'm not sure if it has the expansion because it's quite different. I think it's called like the collect. I'm pretty sure it's just called the Collector's Edition, or something like that. But anyway, let's go find another thing to do. So I've decided um, I'm going to just show the drive here just for fun. Um, so I decided to go drive in this Corvette, which is S-Class. I wanted to go in an S-Class car just to get here faster. Um, I did fast travel here because that's the closest Rising Outpost. We're going to the street race. Um, it says there's three more. I know in one of my previous episodes... I was like, I went to it, but there wasn't any street races. So we're just going here to double check. And if there's no street races, I'm going to cut straight to doing it, finding another race or something. Maybe there'll be another barn find soon or something. I'm not sure how many barn finds we've done. Because I think there's only five in this game, if I remember correctly. Maybe, no, there might actually be more. I'm not entirely sure how many are left. We can actually go check that later. We just go to barn finds, and I think it will show me how many are left. So here we are at the gates. We're just going to head in here. Hopefully it works this time. I know in one of the episodes we had an issue. We drove in there and it didn't it didn't work for some reason. Okay, so we do have new races. I'm not sure what happened that last time. So we're just going to go into this S-Class one and just use the car we're already in. So here we are at this race. Um, yeah, um, here we go. These do give a lot of credit, so it's really worth it to do these. Um, and it's not like it's hard as other races, so. Ah! Uh, yeah, Charger there. That guy just like slammed right into that. Ah! We're gonna slam into a wall too. He, I think he, he must have hit a traffic car or something. What the freaking heck? On this game, I think every tree that you can run into uh, won't break, even small trees. So you have to be really careful. That tree is so annoying. What the heck? It's just in a really inconvenient spot. Okay, there we go. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Ah! We need to back up more than that. Sometimes it does go back too far, and I, it's always been a thing in Horizon. It's like you only want to go back to a certain point, and it just keeps going back, and you're like, oh, stop! And like something like grid, I remember grid has rewind. So in grid, what you can do with rewind is you can choose exactly where you want it to rewind to. And I wish that was a thing here. It only rewinds so far, but it rewind you can choose a spot. And so it won't go too far back. Which is super nice. We just passed both of these guys, even with our rough driving here. Um, we have passed them. That shows how easy these these races are. They're actually quite easy. And if you guys made it this far in the video, feel free to leave a like. It really gives me reason to um, 
to continue this series if someone is showing support. So let me know. You can even comment, do whatever you can do to support this video. I know a lot of people are watching this. I'm going to be surprised if there's actually like one person um, that watches all these. I didn't mention HS Mark in one of the previous episodes, so he does support these a lot. He had, I'm not sure if he watches all of them, but he has supported them, which I really appreciate. He's the one that's really made me want to continue making this series. So um, we just need to be very, very careful here. And just, just try to avoid crashing into things as much as I possibly can. We're doing a little better now that we're past the AI. Um, but we're still, there's a PT Cruiser there. Watch out. One thing I was thinking of, I, I really want Japan, but in a Horizon game, but like after that, they could go back to the US and do like Hawaii. You know how cool Hawaii would be for a Horizon game? Just the tropical environment, or even like the Caribbean. They could totally do something like, I don't know if the Caribbean will work. I'm not sure if they're what the car culture like is over there. I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to um, research that. That would be a sick place too. Hawaii would be probably better, but for the for a racing game, but that'd be sick. Uh, let's see. Don't do that. Yeah, like, just like a tropical environment would be, like, awesome to have. Uh, this car doesn't have the best handling either. I think that's also part of it. We could have tried the EB110. I don't remember how good it handles. Probably not much better than this. If not worse. <laughs> okay, there we go. We did it. Now let's go do, do the next. We got two more we need to do. Alrighty, so let's do an A-class car. See what we got for A class. Car that handles well though is what I'm gonna prefer to to use. <laughs> we just gotta find it. Maybe I'll just try the Shelby, because why not? Let's try it. Alright, here we are. Go. I know this thing doesn't handle the best, I remember that, so just be careful. I know these races are easier, so than normal races, so we just gotta be careful. And the next Horizon games after this, they just went. No, every race, they're all, they can be all changed to the same difficulty. Like, three races in Horizon 5 can be, like, I don't know, the same difficulty as everything else. So it seems like in this game, the three races are quite a bit easier for whatever reason. I feel like they shouldn't have done that, but. Maybe they're meant to be on this game, just like easier races you can get more credits from. They kind of change the way that three races do work, so, in the future games. Oh my freaking heck. And then, like, later on, three races become officially part of the festival. Because in this game, it's seen as bad and illegal to do street racing. So they won't tell the festival people that we're street racing. Um... Other games, it becomes like a part of the festival, even though it's illegal. It's just funny to me. It's just funny. I mean, obviously, if there was like, that would be cool if there was like a festival kind of thing in real life where they have. I'm sure there's something like this where they do a bunch of races, you know, in like a city or something. I don't know, with some cars. But they obviously they won't they won't do street racing. That's just not realistic. I'm going to look that up if there's like festival racing in real life. I have no idea. Or something similar, not that's kind of like where it's just like a meetup that they do a bunch of different races. It wouldn't be over like a, a long period. It probably would be just like a one day thing or something. But we need to watch out. Uh, we're gonna get past. It just sometimes they just cars just want to drift, and I don't understand why. And in this game, it's kind of weird because you can't like do tuning setup. You can upgrade a car, but you can't do tuning setups. 
so as far as I know, I don't think you can because I've looked for it and I've never been able to find it. So I'm pretty sure. I think I actually looked for one of the last episodes. It might have even been the last episode. I went and looked for it or something. I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been like more than a week since the last episode was even recorded. It's been a week as, uh, to the day of recording since uh, the last of publishing since the last episode published. But since the recording, which, which is usually like a day before because I upload them during the night so I don't mess up everyone's Wi-Fi. When nobody's using the Wi-Fi is the best time for me to upload these. So, because I have really bad Wi-Fi, so it takes a really long time to upload these. So, yeah, it's also kind of pretty unstable sometimes. It, it will, like, stop uploading. It might stop uploading, so you just gotta... Well, during the night, like, sometimes I wake up in the videos and I'll all the way upload it. Like the other day, I tried to upload that Metroid Dread video, and when I woke up, it was at 94%. So, it, it didn't... The internet had gone down at some point during the night, so it can be really annoying. Um, anyways, I had to upload it during the day, but it was really close, so I'm super worried about it. All right, finish first place. Okay, the next race. This is also a class, but we're gonna try a different car. So I have gone with the Diablo for this race. I think it handles better. I can't exactly remember, but we're going to try it out. Here we go. So this will probably be the last street race for today unless more come up, but we're not done with the episode, of course, yet. Hopefully, like, a barn finds those up. If not, that's fine, but... Here we go. Sorry, I'm not, like, talking a ton. I don't really have anything major to talk about right now um we're just going crazy here just like be careful though but we're passing like really really fast doing this just like not even breaking right there barely okay so that lance are crashing that car hopefully they do it again yeah they did it again not quite as bad but it allowed me to pass so very nice up here we're gonna have to hard break there is a glare with the sun there so that's not the greatest situation because it, ah, okay. So we shouldn't have driven over the dirt. I think that was an Arc 7 or something that just passed me or I'm not sure exactly what it was. It could have been like a Corvette too. Who cares? I'm just moving on. Don't. It's a Corvette or something. What is it? Can we go into photo mode? I really wanted to know what it is. Oh no, it's, a Mer it's like a Mercedes. I forgot what those are called. Wow, it makes me have all kinds of cars. So it's, I can't even tell when they're like moving sometimes if they're like right next to you. It's hard to tell what cars they are. I don't know if I have, I don't think I have that car yet. I need to get that one. It's actually quite a nice looking car. I'm not like super into that style, but it's just a nice, it's nice. It looks, it's very luxury. That's what that car is. But I don't know if it's even like a supercar or anything. It could be, but it's just like, it looks more, to me more like a luxury car. I mean, you got things like the ATSV which is actually technically a muscle car and it doesn't look like one at all so just because it doesn't look like that type of car doesn't mean it, it isn't like it doesn't mean it's not a supercar because it doesn't look like one anyway so yeah this is the last three race and then we'll go find some other, some other things to do in the episode today Careful, careful, careful. Almost done. This bar is actually really easy. We can pretty much go like straight without like slowing down too much, if at all. Okay, there we go. Let's go find the next race or something. All right, so we got this race right up here. It's called Caro 70s Rockout. I decided to buy this Trans Am um, for this, and we do have some other 70s cars, but I wanted something new, so might as well because we had a lot of credits. All right, here we are. This I think this will be the last race from the episode. Uh, I'm going to make sure 
that no after this race and no like barn find or anything appears when we when we uh, finish the race. Other than that, uh, this will be the last race for today. I gave it like a matte orange paint job. I kind of like it for some reason. I, I'm surprised I actually like the way it looks on this particular car. But I wish you could. I mean, you can put decal. I was gonna say we should get like paint the wing black. It wouldn't let me do that or anything like that. But you could do that with like decals. I could totally do that or put some like vitals on it. I just don't for this series. I really don't think it's necessary to do that, but I can do that if I want to. I could do that off camera. Maybe I should just for heck. Heck, why not? It wouldn't even take me very long to do either, to be honest. Right, so we're only on the first lap, so you seem to be struggling a bit. The top speed when I was upgrading it was at 4.5, so we may not be have the highest top speed. Um, that may actually be a bad thing, but we'll find out if that does anything that's really bad. Um, we're catching up to even McGuire over here, so... be interesting so as I was talking about well as I was talking about the dream I had earlier what if there was a Forza Horizon game in India if, but then I was like wait a minute in India you're not allowed to um, you're not allowed to uh, modify cars so no 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 if they had a rising game there it just wouldn't make any sense I don't think they ever would do that because that's not allowed in India but yeah so that's why you don't see any racing games in India I didn't think about that. There would be if they did allow it, but you're not allowed to modify cars. So, for some reason, I don't understand why. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know that, but. Um, let's see. Yeah, but that dream last night, I just been thinking about it all morning, because it was so weird. I had another one, because I, I woke up and then I fell back asleep. Because I just saw, I was like, it's got to be really early. It was like 8 o'clock when I got back up the next time. So I was like, wow, I must have been up at like 4 in the morning or something. I had another dream, but I've already forgotten. That was so weird. I should talk about stuff like that more in these episodes. So I have more things to talk about. I don't know. Anyways. It was weird because when I spilled on Tim McGraw or whatever his name is. He's a country singer for some reason. I'm not into country at all. But he went into this area of the, uh, the gas station, which was like a theater afterwards. I was like, the funny thing is, before that, that wasn't there. It just appeared after he went over there. I remember seeing a wall on the other side. So yeah, now there's just this theater there. Dreams don't make sense, but like there was just this theater there he went to. I'm not sure this is gonna, we're almost finished with this race. I am not sure that this is gonna be the end of the episode. So, we'll see. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we don't see any pop-ups or anything. I think I'm just going to finish it up right here. So, um, I will see you guys in the next episode.